in 2020, Kings Island is going to unleash Orion, their new B&M Giga Coaster. Now, while this is a great ride, while this is going to be great, a lot of us are wondering, what will Kings Island do next? In this video, I am going to discuss what I think is going to come to Kings Island in the event in the in the future. Now, I want to clarify that whatever they get, it probably won't come for several years because Orion is a very high investment and Kings Island is not Carowinds or California's Great America, one of those parks that are that have that are in huge high growth market areas. So Cedar Fair is willing to to do these large um, expansion plans to help grow these parks, which means large investments in week every few years. So I think the earliest we might see a new roller coaster come to Kings Island will be 2024, and which I think might be likely. So without further ado, let's get into this. First is a mock double launch coaster. Carowinds opened Copperhead Strike this year, and and I've heard it's a great coaster. Yes, the launch may not be the most forceful, but this coaster is is more about the GP. It also has um. It also it is has a lot of hang time, so I think this will this would be a great fit for Kings Island since Kings Island only has an like they have only like one like like thrilling launch coaster flight of fear backlot stunt coasters more family coasters which i think it wouldn't be as thrilling as flight of fear but um flight of fear uh, but it would probably be in between backlot stunt coaster and flight of fear plus they could probably theme this out a good amount so i think this would be a great fit for king's island and so now let's go move on to the next one. Next is an RMC. An RMC wooden coaster, that is. Like, say, the, the video I'm showing is of Goliath at Six Flags Great America, which is a one of their ground-up um, topper track creations, which Kings Island is actually a really, um, really likes to pride themselves in wooden roller coasters, so I think adding something like this would be a nice fit for Kings Island. So I think this would be a nice addition to the park. And so um, this, this would definitely be um, a good addition to Kings Island. And they and because, you know, Cedar Fair is working with RMC. So that's something good. So I think this would be a nice fit for Kings Island. So let's go move on to the next here. Next is a wing roller coaster. Cedar Fair has only added one wing coaster in Gatekeeper, and that was all the way back in 2013. And Kings Island has teased a wing coaster in the past, like with um with the whole the bat is back thing from Banshee, as well as Greg Shy talking about Thunderbird at Holiday World when, back in like 2015. So, so a wing coaster would be nice. The only concern is about you know the enthusiasts uh, are um like these we think that these are usually forceless rides but remember we make up a very small portion the general public would love a wing coaster yes thunderbird and gatekeeper are not too far away but i don't think that matters too much like i don't think if, if it really mattered i don't think they would have built like banshee or diamondback or orion so so i think the a wing coaster would be a fine fit for king's island even if i was in charge i wouldn't go with a wing coaster but it is what it is. We'll see. Next next is a dive coaster. Canada's Wonderland opened Yukon Striker this year. And this might even know that I would not want a dive coaster. This would actually be a fine fit at Kings Island. Because, you know, this is a very highly GP-pleasing coaster. Like... I heard this is that this and Val Raven were huge successes for their parks, so I think that a Kings Island dive coaster would be an okay addition. Plus, they could make it kind of higher than Dimeback and advertise it maybe the second tallest coaster, or they could try and make it taller than Orion, maybe make it the first ever Giga dive. And call it, but I don't know if they'll want to outdo Orion. 
anytime soon, but it is what it is. But I think a dive coaster would be an okay fit for Kings Island. Yes, I would not go with it. Yes, I do find them one-trick ponies, but it is what it is. So we might be able to see a dive coaster in the future at Kings Island. Final option is an Intamin Blitz coaster. Like, and this is Maverick of Cedar Point. And I think, it, it, I would love something like Maverick. Now, the only concern, the only reason, I think this might be the least likely of the options that I listed. Because of the relationship between Cedar Fair and Intamin. As you know, Cedar Fair did remove Volcano at King's Dominion, which was an Intamin launched inverted coaster, because of maintenance issues. Also, C Intamin doesn't really have the best track record with Cedar Fair. You know, shoot the Rapids incident, and also with this with Maverick, with the, you know, Heartline roll where they had to take it out because of an engineering flaw. So, I do not think we will see an Intamin Blitz coaster or any Intamin coaster in the Cedar Fair chain anytime soon or ever but this was something i brought up with before because i would absolutely love it so i decided to throw it in here anyway but i think this would be this is, again this is not that likely because of the relationship between cedar fair and intamin so that's just how it is so that's those are my predictions for what might be coming to king's island in the future Again, this, it will be a while before we see another coaster at Kings Island. We'll have to see how Orion performs in terms of attendance growth and revenue. And plus, this is a $30 million coaster, if not more than that. So it will be quite some time before we see another major investment into Kings Island. So I cannot wait for Orion to open in 2020. And I also I definitely think the future will be bright for Kings Island. So I think this will be great. So I will see you guys 